Hey guys, and here's part four of this tutorial series. And you should have a model that already looks something like this. So we're almost done with the base area. Um, if we check out our, one of our reference images here, we're modeling the, the base first before we do the, the top of the module. Um, we've got a few small details still to add to the base here, one being this uh, ladder on the side and there's a platform. But the basics are here. Um, now what we're going to do next is add in a ground plane and some um, lighting and a camera so we can begin to get a feel for how this is going to look. Now um, I'm going to want to set up the scene with a plane object so we'll go to create plane drag this down scale it up just pretty large. Okay. I'll select all by using A. We'll deselect the plane and we'll move everything up so it sits on top of it. Okay. And we'll grab our plane object and drag this up also. So it should sit just below the module. All right. I thought I'd have to scale this up a little. Next, we're going to bring in the camera. Um, so we want to basically get to the view that we want to have and then bring the camera in. So I want to view this from this kind of angle, maybe. Let's see. Our ladder for exiting is going to be on this corner. Maybe you want to be viewing like there, maybe from here, something like that. Maybe from lower down, we'll set up our angle to be something like this, right. So now we've got that into view, we go to tools, or create a um, camera. I should put a camera in that basically has the same view that we're looking at there. We'll go to normal. We'll drag this back. Let's go to the camera view. Yeah. Hit G to move the camera around. Don't forget, we're going to have an area on top of this module, so we need to have space for that in the camera view also. So the camera needs to come back further. We're going to move it up. Our camera settings over here. We'll change the focal length. So it's zoomed in somewhat. We'll move it down. I'm going to rotate the camera up slightly because I want to be able to see underneath the lem a little bit. So I want it to maybe almost be looking upwards slightly. And more like this, that kind of view. That will be pretty good. Now we can actually drag this back. We just want to make sure with the plane that it fills our camera view. This should basically be covering all our corners there. Right, that's good enough. Um, now from Blender Render, we're going to change the Cycles Render. Come over to our world, click Use Nodes. And 
For the background color, I'm just going to set that to black. So there'll be no light being emitted from the background. And then I'm going to put a sun object in now. We'll um, to create a sun. I'm going to move it up. And I'm going to move it off to the side. We're going to rotate it. So get our rotation handles. I'll rotate this at an angle like so. Once we're done with that, we can then go into rendered view and see that now we have some light and some shadow on the ground there. Now the the lower say that we sit this in the sky, the more we rotate it. The more of a shadow we're gonna get. You see it casts a greater shadow now you get it lower in the sky. So we've got more of a shadow coming over there now. If you want to see a little more of that shadow in our view, we will just need to adjust the camera a little bit. So we'd rotate the camera down slightly. Now let's drag the camera up. The Z axis. Just until the bottom corners touch the ground plane. Okay. We still got enough space there then above for the uh, rest of the module to probably fit into the view. So we're just gonna we'll tweak the camera later on. Um, and the final thing then that we're gonna want to do is actually rotate the ground plane around so it's flat across there. We want to have a flat horizon, horizon basically. So our ground plane is going to need to be rotated to match the orientation of the camera view. So we have that flat horizon. Now I can scale this up in that axis because we want to have this horizon going quite far into the distance. Now we're going to have to also scale in this direction so it fills the camera view. Like so. So now we've got a sun object, we've got the ground plane, then we've got a camera set up, we've got a horizon. Um, what we need to do then is add some materials. Now these are going to be really basic materials to start with, just so we can visualize things. Um, the, the better materials will come later when we have finished with the modeling. But just to help us visualize things, we need to have a, um, a silvery and a gold and a black kind of colored material. So um, the base part around here is going to be gold. So let's start with that. So we'll select the legs here, materials, add new, new, and we'll call this gold foil. And we'll make this a diffuse color will drag over to a goldish color there you go and then we'll open up a node editor it's going to be a very very basic mix of Diffuse and a glossy. So 
So really basic, glossy and diffuse mixed together. Change the color of our reflections towards the gold area as well. Decrease the roughness a little bit. So we'll get sharper reflections. So I wouldn't worry too much about getting this, you know, exactly right because it's just a, um, a, a really rough basic texture to help us begin to visualize things. Um, so then we're also going to need a, um, a silver color as well. And the silver color is going to be on part of the supports. So we'll grab hold of that, create a new material. We'll call this material silver foil. Again, we're going to add in a glossy shader. We'll add in a mix shader. Connect those together. So our color for the silver is going to be Somewhere down there towards the gray area. Same here in our reflections. Something like so. This is going to be the black foil. So we'll call this one black foil. And again, same deal, mix shader, glossy shader. Color will be almost black, very dark gray. Same for the glossiness. Supports on this are going to be silver, so we grab hold of this, new, and we choose silver foil. Okay, so now it's just a matter of replicating that all the way around. And the main base. There's several colors, a mixture of the gold, the silver, and the black. So we're going to give it, first of all, a base color of the gold. Tab into edit mode. Now we can select individual faces and turn them black. So, um, like this area here is black. So we would select in face mode, select this face. These two faces, these two faces, and these two faces, and they would be black foil. We click assign, and it will assign the black texture to that area. If we have some other sides, which maybe are Silver, then come back to solid. We would select these. Silver foil, 
and assign. And you can actually go around and do the same thing then to um, the legs. You can see the bottom area is gold, but the upper area there is silver. So you would select the legs, tab into edit mode, and you could go around and select these individual faces or um, loops of faces. So shift and alt, we can select all of these. And all the way up to the top there. They can all be given a silver color. Okay, so there you can see now we're beginning to get some texture and color to our scene. Obviously, there's a lot of work needs doing to these textures. It's just very, very basics for now, just to help us visualize things as we go along. And a um, little bit of modeling left that we still need to do. So we have to create um, the ladders on the side here and the platform that um, the astronauts can walk out on. So the ladders will be pretty straightforward to model. Um, once we're done with those ladders, we can then start on the upper part of the module. So in the next tutorial, we'll just be finishing off little details down here, the ladders, the platform, and then we'll be moving on to the upper area.